Welcome everyone to the Wean On podcast. Today, uh, we're diving into something pretty incredible, a discovery in Argentina, a mm. dinosaur that was just, well, enormous. Think nearly a hundred feet long. And the weight estimates are around, what, 74 tons. It's staggering. 74 tons, yeah. Just try wrapping your head around that scale. It's Bustingori Titan Shiva, lived over 90 million years ago. Right, and that name, Shiva. Yeah, from the Hindu deity, you know, the destroyer. Mm -hmm. Really gives you a sense of its uh, sheer size and power, doesn't it? Definitely. And it was found in North Patagonia? That's right. An area already famous for, well, for giant titanosaurs. So this wasn't the only giant around then? Not at all. Yeah. And B. Shiva, it belongs to this group they call mega titanosaurs. Basically, uh -huh. titanosaurs tipping the scales over 55 tons. Okay, the heavyweights. Exactly. But what's really fascinating, I think, is what this find suggests about their evolution. Which is? Well, it seems like this kind of extreme gigantism, it might have evolved independently multiple times within the titanosaur family. Ah, so not just one single lineage getting bigger and bigger. Precisely. It wasn't a one-off event, perhaps. And the discovery itself, didn't a farmer find the first remains? Yeah, back in 2000, a local farmer stumbled upon them, and then later, Diggs uncovered more individuals. More than one. Wow. Mm -hmm. And crucially, in the same rock layers, the same geological formation as the famous Argentinosaurus. Okay, so Argentinosaurus and this new one, Bustingor Titan Shiva, they were around at the same time in the same place. It certainly looks that way. Coexisting giants. How do we know they're actually different, though? I mean, besides being huge. Good question. Bia Shiva had some uh, distinct features. Unique crests, apparently, on its humerus. The upper arm bone and its femur, the thigh bone. Ah, Okay, little anatomical details that set it apart. Right, details that tell paleontologists this isn't just another Argentinosaurus. It suggests at least two separate lineages of these supergiants were living in North Patagonia during the Middle Cretaceous. Two lineages of giants sharing the same turf? How does that even work? Wouldn't they compete? Well, that's the puzzle, isn't it? One paleontologist, Maria Edith Simon, she suggests they probably occupied slightly different ecological roles. Like eating different plants, maybe? Could be. Or maybe differences in their teeth, their head shape, their overall body build. Yeah. It might have allowed them to utilize resources differently, avoiding direct head to head competition. Makes sense. Like different species of large herbivores today sharing the savanna, but focusing on different foods. Exactly. That kind of idea. Nature finds ways. And the name, Bustingori Titan, you mentioned the farmer. Yeah. They combine the farmer's name, Bustingori, with Titan, you know, from the Greek giants. A nice way to honor the discovery. That is cool. Bustingori Titan Shiva. It's a mouthful, but memorable. It is. And placing it in the Cretaceous period. Right. That was such a dynamic time. Some dinosaur groups were declining, heading towards extinction. But not this lineage, apparently. No, it seems like B. Shiva's group, these giant titanosaurs, they actually thrived, surviving right up until the very end of the Cretaceous period. Just Incredible. Thinking about creatures of that scale walking the earth. It really stretches the imagination. And understanding these unique features, like those bone crests and how they potentially coexisted, it gives us such fascinating insights, doesn't it, into dinosaur evolution and how these ancient ecosystems worked. Absolutely. Every find like this just adds another piece to that giant puzzle. Well, that's all we have time for on this particular deep dive, but it's certainly food for thought. Stay tuned for more such intriguing stories to come.